DC practical 2.2 and we're looking at heating efficiency so again risk assessments are going to be very similar to uh, the last pack that we did electric shock burns trips and falls again we're going to manage that using ELV keep temperatures under 50 C and leads etc off the floor heating efficiency six basic steps container of water it's going to hold about 200 mils of water a heating element in the form of a 1 ohm 10 watt resistor connected to a DC power supply a voltmeter and ammeter and we'll be using the built-in ammeter and voltmeter that are in a DC power supply I'm using a digital thermometer to measure water temperature a real-time clock to measure time between readings and we're going to take those readings every five minutes and enter the results into the following little table so here's our heating efficiency table I'm going to start at zero time obviously and then we're going to take a reading at zero time then every five minutes up to 20 so one two three four five readings we're going to uh, measure the temperature the voltage and the current then we're going to use that information to look at how efficient our little heating system is so here's our setup at time zero so I'll just explain the bits and pieces we've got here's our power supply it's a dual tracking power supply and I've got both sides of it in parallel to give me plenty of current so the displays are basically reading exactly the same thing so we've got 3.1 amps and about 6 volts across our heater here's our digital temperature sensor and it's reading out on this display here and the top of this little gadget also has a timer in minutes so we can determine the time so this is our timer up here so our ambient temperature is we're going to kick off at 26 degrees so let's get our little experiment underway so here we're now at, at five minutes in our current and our voltages haven't changed obviously because they're just set and forget we're now at uh, five minutes on the timer so I'll just point that out so you can see we're at five minutes and we're at 36.6 degrees we move forward we've gone up to our 10 minutes now and we're at 40 uh, 47.9 degrees 15 minutes 56.2 and then our final reading at 50 minutes 63.7 degrees at our 20 minute point and our voltage and our current hasn't changed so we put all that data into the table and you can see here start time 0 through to 20 minutes our five temperature readings 26 through to 63.7 and our voltage at uh, 6.3 and our current at 3.1 amps so determining the power used over a certain period of time the base formula for power required to raise water by one degree C so the power is equal to the volume multiplied by four multiply by the temperature difference divided by 3412 which is the specific heat of water so and it also gives us the uh, the um, power in kilowatt hours so volume in liters in our case we've only got 0.2 of a liter factor of four our specific heat and our delta temperature or our temperature change so we can use this information to uh, put some information into a, another table so I've called this heating data 
and you can see I've added some extra columns now to um, our table so here's our delta temperature our change in temperature so uh, obviously where well, we start there's no change and we then we go up by 10.6 degrees up by 10.3 up by 8.3 up by another 7.5 so that's our difference in temperature for each of the readings and I know that um, our 6.3 multiplied by 3.1 gives us power so we know we're pumping approximately 19 watts of energy into the water so if we're doing that for five minutes I've simply taken the 19 multiplied it by 5 and then divided that by the number of degrees change that we've occurred has occurred and that tells us how many watts per degree temperature rise so it's only it's taken us 8.9 watts to raise the water 1 degree C for that first 5 minutes in the second 5 minutes it's taken about the same 8.4 watts to raise the water by one degree and then but notice here all of a sudden it jumps up it takes 11 watts to raise the water temperature by one degree and then it takes 12 watts to raise the water temperature by one degree so what's this telling us well You've got to take note of the ambient temperature basically we had a container which had a heater in the bottom and the outside temperature is 30 degrees and the inside water temperature started at 26 degrees C so as we get close to 30 so as we head from 26 degrees up towards 30 our ambient temperature is feeding into the process the ambient temperature is putting heat into the process but once we get well past 30 degrees so we get past the 36 for example all of a sudden instead of the ambient putting energy in I'll just change the pen color he says I'll just move my pen up here and screen pointer pen color change it to red once we get past that um, that 36 up around about 47 so once the temperature in here gets up to 47 C all of a sudden our water is putting energy back out into the atmosphere so we're losing energy into the atmosphere so up to about this point here not too bad the ambient is helping here so ambient's feeding energy in but once we get past here the ambient's actually now doing the opposite the ambient is now pulling energy out of the process so it takes a lot more energy to raise the temperature because now we're getting losses into the atmosphere lots and lots of loss into the atmosphere once we get above this well above the 30 degree mark so the heating losses so I've done another um, little calc here and um, added this column now we've still got our our delta temperature our watts per degree rise 
and all I've done is said is the uh, the watts divided by the delta temperature multiplied by five kind of gives you the losses gives you some idea what the losses are so obviously there are no losses when you start here we had zero losses because the ambient was helping us and the ambient was still helping us because we got minus 2.5 here so the ambient is still feeding heat in rather than taking heat out so we've kind of got negative losses in other words we've got gain but once we get over this point here where we're a long long way above the ambient after 15 minutes we're losing about 15 watts of our energy all the time for every 15 minute every five minutes we're losing about 15 watts here we're losing about 18 watts so as we get further and further away from ambient then we have more and more our losses and the losses are actually going to go up by the square so the further we get away from the ambient temperature the higher the temperature gets in our water the more losses we're going to lose into the atmosphere so that's the end of practical 2.2 i hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about temperature and temperature efficiency.